Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Hatterene, I think it's called Hatterene, I think that's how you say it. Uh, we have four sets today, three generic sets and then one Gigantamax set. The Gigantamax set can also work for Dynamaxing as well. Um, but yes, we will talk about these sets first of all. So here today on our first set we have a physical set. Now this is a little bit different than you probably expect. But Hatterene has access to Swords Dance, basically meaning that you can double your attack power. Also having a base 90 attack stat means that this is technically viable. This is definitely viable um, in the sense we've got Magic Bounce the ability, basically bouncing back any hazard moves because they can be a real pain. Um, you've got Swords Dance, as I said, to double your attack power from 306 to 612, which is just super high. Um, you've then got Play Rough, which is a powerful fairy type move boosted by Stab. You've got Power Whip, which is a powerful grass type move and hits a variety of Pokemon. And then you've got Psycho Cut, which is a psychic type move boosted um, by Stab as well. So it would be really powerful. And then you've got the Life Orb, boosting those even further by 1.3 times. So going to have an incredibly high stat at the end of that. EV's gone for max HP and max attack with an adamant nature, so more attack, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. Now, I will say, Hasserine does work really well in Trick Rooms, and I'm going to talk about this next set to do with Trick Rooms. So, on Hasserine, on this set, I thought it could be quirky. We have the Iron Ball, which means that the speed is half, so we are going to be incredibly slow. Um, base, well, sorry, not even base. We're going to have literally 42 speed, which is one of the slowest stats in the game. Um, I know Shuckle can get down to, I think, six, but if you put an iron ball on it, but yeah, but it's going to be very, very slow. So you're going to be able to take advantage of that um, when setting up a trick room. Now on here, we have healer as the ability. I think healer is more effective um, in doubles, you've got Anticipation, so it shudders when there's a super effective move, or Magic Bounce. I just want to show off a different ability, but realistically, Magic Bounce is the best move, uh, the best ability, sorry, for Hattery. We have Trick Room, which uh, flips the speed of Pokemon, so you would probably be the fastest Pokemon in the field. If you can do that for five turns, and your special attack stat is relatively high, meaning that naturally, so you can actually cause some damage to different Pokemon, or you could even go for a max special attack in this one as well. So I'll talk about that in just a second. We've got Aromatherapy, which will allow you to heal up your team in terms of status conditions. So Toxic, will -Wisp, or Paralysis. Um, that can really help support you, especially uh, if your walls are poisoned or toxic. Or if your, um, can't forget the word, if your physical mons are burnt, they have their half attack power. If you heal that off, they're back to normal. You've then got Giga Drain, which will allow you to heal yourself up. And I put Healing Wish on here as well, um, which will mean that you will faint, but the po next Pokemon you bring in will go back to full health, um, allowing them to be able to work well. So I think Hatterene and Conkelda could work really well together as a combination. So Healing Wish, you bring Conkelda, Conkelda is going to take advantage of the Trick Room, and then hopefully be able to not necessarily sweep, but do a lot of damage to different Pokemon. So this can definitely work as a late game combo. That's just what I'm thinking now. Eevee's gone for max HP and max special defense with a sassy nature, so more special defense and less speed, and four EVs in special attack. You always can go for uh, leftovers if you want to. Uh, your speed is already very, very slow. Um, but I just thought I'd put the iron ball on there. It's a little bit more quirky. If you wanted to go for the max special attack, I would recommend potentially taking off Aromatherapy and Healing Wish and going for two more uh, special attacks, which I'm going to talk about the variety of special attacks we have on this set because we have a Choice Specs Hatterene. So Choice Specs increases your special attack by 1.5 times, uh, but locks you into a move. So move-wise, we actually have access to Dark Pulse, which can hit a variety of Pokemon, Dazzling Gleam, a strong stab fairy type attack, Giga Drain, which I've already spoken about to heal yourself up, and then Psychic, Strong Stab, Psychic type attack. So you could put that on the previous set if he was going for the special attack variant. With this, I put Magic Bounce the ability again, just because, as I said, I think it's the best ability we can have access to. You've got the choice specs here, so make sure that you're paying attention to what move you're using. So don't click Psychic if there are Dark types around, because they'll just bring that in and you'll have to switch out. So just think carefully about what you choose. EVs have gone for max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. 
Now, let's talk about the Gigantamax version of how to read. So I've put leftovers on here. You could definitely put weakness policy on here as well if you want to, or instead, if you wanted to, because that is definitely an option. Raising up that special attack so you can do more damage. And um, move-wise on here, we've got Dazzling Gleam, which is a strong fairy type attack. Giga Drain, which is a strong, uh, obviously I've talk, spoken about. So you've got Psychic on here, which is a powerful Psychic type attack. And you've also got Thunder Wave to paralyze different Pokemon and slow them down. So G-Max wise, we have the Fairy type move, Dazzling Gleam, turning into G-Max Smite, which will confuse the opposing Pokemon. Um, obviously confusion will lead to them potentially hurting themselves. It is a bit more gimmicky, but it is definitely something that you can take advantage of. So uh, having Dazzling Gleam turn into G-Max Smite is an option. Um, as I said, you could have leftovers or weakness policy on here, increasing your uh, power up. And yeah, if you don't go for that, if you just go for a Dynamax set, I would definitely recommend going for the weakness policy um, because you haven't got any reliable way of raising up your attacks here, or attack power, sorry, and then your Dazzling Gleam will just become max starfall. Eevee Wire's gone for max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EVs and special defense. The good thing about this is you can get some Parafusion off, which is a bit scummy, but if you use the Thunder Wave initially, you can paralyze them, and then you use Dazzling Gleam with G-Max Smite, and then that will um, have a roll-on effect, and basically mean they are less likely to be able to hit you, so you could possibly even change out and get another Pokemon in to allow to set up um, if you wanted to. That is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Anyways, I'm out there, so I'll see you soon.